Hi everybody, it's Bas here from Carp Specialist. Many thanks for watching the 22nd episode of the Carpycast. It's the 14th of April and as you can see we're fishing in France at the moment. And we kick off with news at Jardin des Carp. Um, the, over the last weeks the catches have been quite good, including big carp until nearly 24 kilos. So that's uh, over 50 English pounds. And also a huge sturgeon of 45 kilos have been, has been caught. So that's nearly 100 pounds English pounds of sturgeon it's a great venue also great and really worth recommendation are the luxurious lodges and lakes of Paris carp fishing and three new lodges have been placed at Paris carp fishing they've been fully renovated and if you fancy luxury fishing with the lakeside chalet then Paris carp fishing is definitely the place to go to it's a convenient drive just uh, um, um, half an hour east from Paris you can find I think it's five lakes in total now with big fish and beautiful accommodations. It's really worthwhile when you fancy a luxurious carp fishing holiday and you want to have trips as well to uh, many of the castles in France. And of course, if you fancy a trip to Paris, it's also quite close by. So that's a real recommendation. Also, a nice lake to go to is Windmill Lake. It's Dutch owned. The English speak fluent English. And it's a French uh, a complex of two French carp lakes. They have had a netting this winter and they've dug out the lake and created some extra hot spots. And it really works out well. Last week, two carp over 25 kilos, so over 55 English pounds, were caught at at Windmill Lake and about 40 carp in total. Also, the family holiday, the, the Windmill Family Lake, is a really runs water and they did some stunning catches there as well. So if you bring, for example, children or less experienced anglers who just want to have a bend in the rod, the Windmill Family Lake is really worth a recommendation as well. At the big lake, the Windmill Lake, uh, you have swim two, and that um, that's really a great uh, swim. They've dug out some extra holes on that uh, on this. Uh, on this spot and you can see that uh, those new hot spots uh, really create some extra catches so uh, um, well worth uh, a visit there's also a swimming pool there so if you're tired from fishing or just wanted to have a splash there's a pool and a cocktail waiting for you um, at uh, Etang de Jarlat uh, we have two lakes there the small lake and a big lake the small lake is about two acres in size we have had Jeffrey over he caught nine carp up to 19 and a half kilos so that's a big 40 caught and at the big lake we had Jens and his friends catching some beautiful carp so if you want to take a look at them just browse to the catch gallery at the big lake and they caught fish definitely well over 20 kilos and last but not least our update from Michelle's Lake as you can see here it's lovely weather I'm in a t-shirt at the moment and it's uh, Tuesday when I make this video but can you imagine Saturday when we arrived here it was frost there was um, there was still snow so it's really horrible fishing the weather conditions change very fast so it's very difficult to catch some fish uh, at the moment Peter and myself caught two fish including one 20 kilo mirror carp and in total five carp were caught around the lake we're fishing swim seven now the biggest fish uh, this uh, week was caught uh, at the opposite uh, swim 8, Kenny caught a 24.6 kilos uh, mirror carp. Um, so it's still a bit tough, but as the weather is improving now, we will expect to have some extra bites uh, um, throughout uh, the coming uh, days. Um, Michel's Lake is really lovely venue to go to. It's a convenient drive from Calais, and it's just south of Luxembourg. Uh, it's in a, a bit of a, I say, a hilly environment. It's beautiful landscapes. Michelle, the own, uh, owner, is a very friendly um, lady. She knows the lake very well and it has only 10 swims, 10 anglers on a maximum of about 30 acres. So there's plenty of space to fish. It has a breakfast service, dinner service. You can rent a boat on site. And it's, as you can see here, it's, it's beautiful. So that's it. I would say thank you very much for watching this Carpicast episode. Next week I'm back at the office so you will have a more flashy uh, video with, uh, with photos and, uh, and video shots included. It was just a bit boring of course to watch me sitting on a chair. But I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again next week. Bye bye!